this is the download speed that I'm getting inside of Epic Games Launcher before applying any of the fixes and optimizations in this video. And this is what it looks like now. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix slow download speeds inside of Epic Games Launcher. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First thing that you should do is inside of Epic Games, you need to click on your profile, press settings, and on top here, you need to see if you have any updates available. If you have any pending updates, make sure to install that before you start optimizing. Once fully updated, inside of these same options, you need to click on go to download settings. In here, make sure that limit download speeds is disabled. Another thing that you can test with is enable limit download speeds and set all of these values to the maximum and see if this makes a difference in your download speeds. For this next week, you need to completely close Epic Games Launcher. So first close the window and then from the system tray, right click Epic Games Launcher and click on exit. Once that is done, press start, type in percentage, local app data percentage and press enter. Look for the Epic Games Launcher folder and open it. Double click on save. Inside here, you need to delete any folders with the name web cache. You might have one of these or you might have more than one of these folders. So delete any folder with the name web cache. Now back in the same app data folder, once again open Epic Games Launcher, saved, now open up config, windows editor, and now in this folder you should have the engine.ini file. If you don't have the engine.ini folder like me, you'll have to create it manually. To do that, first copy the path of this folder from this box up here and then open notepad and create a new file. In this new file, you need to copy and paste this text that will be in the description of this video. Once pasted, you need to click on file, save as. And once again, in this box up here, you need to double click and then paste the path of the folder. Press enter and now the file name has to be set as engine.ini. Make sure that you spell everything correctly and then for the save as type make sure that it's set to all files if you set this to .txt it's not gonna work so make sure that you set it to all files once that's done just click on save and now the engine.ini file has been created once you apply these fixes click on start search for the epic games launcher right click and run it as an administrator now your download speed should be better but if you want to maximize your speeds, you should follow the other optimizations that I'm about to show you. Now, before I show you the best Wi-Fi and Ethernet settings to increase your download speeds, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. Firstly, if you're using Wi-Fi, make sure that you're using a 5 GHz connection. If you're on a 2.4 GHz connection and you're not able to upgrade to a 5 GHz, Try to be as close to the router as possible because 2.4 GHz is actually better for high range and 5 GHz gives you the best speed. Now with that out of the way, we can start looking at the best Wi-Fi settings. To access your Wi-Fi settings, open up control panel, click on network and internet, network and sharing center, and then press change adapter settings. From here, select your Wi-Fi adapter and double click press properties and then click on configure. Now switch to the advanced tab. Inside here, a few settings that you need to change is first set the 802.11 mode to 802.11ax. Now, if your adapter doesn't support this format or if your router doesn't have Wi-Fi 6, you can use 802.11ac. But first, I would recommend that you select AX and see what kind of performance you get. But if for some reason your Wi-Fi stops working, you can switch back to 802.11ac. Next, make sure that power saving is disabled. This is one of the biggest reasons that Wi-Fi speeds drop. Roaming aggressiveness should be set to the lowest. This can cause frequent drops in your download speed, which means that it's going to take longer to download your games. Also make sure that the transmit level is set to the highest. If you have more than one power saving settings on your network adapter, make sure to disable them as well. Once that's done, you can press OK. And now we're going to have a look at the best Ethernet settings. So follow the same steps as before, but now double click on your Ethernet adapter. Press configure and switch to the advanced tab. Now inside the advanced options, make sure that these settings are disabled. Advanced triple E, auto disable gigabit, energy efficient Ethernet, gigabit light, 
green ethernet you can try enabling jumbo frames and see what kind of performance it gives you disable power saving mode receive buffer should be set to its maximum value receive side scaling can be enabled now for speed and duplex you can set this to the maximum value that you have available along with full duplex but if your driver doesn't support this your ethernet may stop working and in that case you can just come back and set this to auto negotiation next for the transmit buffers once again set this to the maximum value that's possible and then you need to disable all of the wake on settings and most importantly make sure that shutdown link speed is set to not speed down now you can press ok and these were the best network adapter settings now for this next week, you need to first open up CMD as an administrator. Then you have to copy and paste all of these commands and execute them one at a time. Once you execute all the commands, you can close CMD. Next, we're going to find and use the most optimal DNS server for our connection. And for that, we're going to be using an application called DNS Jumper. So through the link in the description, open the DNS Jumper website and here click on download. Make sure that you only click on this button. Once it is downloaded, extract the zip file and then launch the exe. In this tool, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that all network adapters are selected and then press the fastest DNS button. This is going to open a test window. In this window, make sure that Turbo Resolve is enabled with a value of 500. Now click on start test. And what this is going to do is test a bunch of DNS servers to see which one gives us the best performance. Once the test is complete, press on apply DNS server and this is going to automatically apply the best DNS server for you. For this next optimization, open the second link in the description of this video. This is going to take you to the TCP optimizer download. Here you need to press download now and your download should start within 5 seconds. Once downloaded, locate the exe file, right click and run this as an administrator. It is important to run this as an administrator or else the settings are not going to apply properly. Once it is open, down here under two settings, click on custom. And now these are the settings that you need to copy. First set TCP window auto tuning to normal. Disable window scaling heuristics. The congestion control provider is going to be CTCP. Enable RSS and RSC. ECN capability is going to be disabled. Enable checksum offloading, TCP chimney offload, and LSO. Disable TCP 1323 timestamps. Under advanced settings, first disable network throttling index and set the system responsiveness to gaming zero. Disable everything under the gaming tweaks. Next, click on the MTU tab. Press largest MTU. And this is going to help find the best MTU for us. And in the end, it is going to ask you to set your MTU to a certain value. So go back to general settings and then change your MTU to whatever value that it suggested. Once all of this is done, click on apply changes. Press OK. And now it is going to ask you to reboot your PC. This step is important to apply these settings. Once you restart your PC, the last thing that we're going to do is prevent Windows Firewall from blocking the Epic Games launcher. So click on start and search for Windows Firewall and then press allow an app through Windows Firewall. Now click on the change settings button and in this list, look for the Epic Games launcher. Make sure to check all the boxes for the Epic Games launcher. If these two are not available in this list for you, this is what you need to do. Go to this PC. Open the local disk C folder and now follow these steps to locate the Epic Games Launcher file. Once you find the exe file, copy this path from this box, go back to the Windows Firewall, press allow another app, click on browse and now paste the path that we just copied in the top right here and press enter. And then select the epicgameslauncher.exe file and press open. Now click on add. And this is going to add the Epic Games Launcher into the list. Once again, make sure that you check both the boxes and now press OK. Now one last setting that you can try enabling on your router is QoS. What this setting will allow you to do is prioritize the connection from your PC, which means that it is going to allot more speed and bandwidth to your PC which in turn is going to give you better download speeds. 
not every router supports QoS, so I would recommend that you try to find the model that you own and then search how to enable QoS. And with that, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope these tweaks and fixes helped you to improve your download speeds. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like. If you have any queries, you can drop them in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Share this video with a friend who is struggling with bad download speeds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.